Hey, my name is Sanjay Ayer from Two Eagle Sports and Entertainment. Thank you for presenting the Puma East Coast International Showcase. I'm a former three-time Olympian from Jamaica. I have won silver medal at the Sydney Olympics. I'm a world championship indoor gold medalist. I'm a world championship outdoor silver medalist. I've competed at the highest level for Jamaica since 1996 as a junior athlete. I retired at 2012. And I'm here today to present you the Puma sponsored East Coast Invitational Showcase. All right, everyone, welcome to the coach's desk. We have uh, Sanjay here with us on the coach's desk and he's the chief organizer of the um, East Coast International Showcase. Uh, Sanjay, welcome to the coach's desk. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. And, and tell us a little bit about uh, this event that is coming up, um, Sanjay. Okay. So, yeah, we have the Puma-sponsored East Coast International Showcase being held on Saturday, May 7th at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex. Um, this track and field meeting is a high school track and field showcase um, premiering the top Jamaican high schools and the top American high schools going head to head in a clash. All right, good. And um, tell us about the Americans. Who are the top Americans that you're looking to be at this event, competing against the Jamaicans? Okay, um, the top Americans we have available, um, we have Jordan Anthony from Tyler Tongue, Mississippi High School. Um, he's a 10, 1400 meter sprinter, 20.5 on the year. Um, we have Shamali Little, um, Whittle, who is the US 200 meter indoor New Balance champion. Um, Shamali also has a personal best of 20.7. Um, we have Avery Lewis, um, Myra Elliott, um, and we have, we have a couple strong American, the Cooper sisters um, leading the way for the American athletes. We also have Bullis High School, who was second in the men's 4x4 um, at the Penn Relays. Um, they have a complete team, they have a very strong team. Um, and we have a lot of other um, US high schools Paul Rib Robeson out of New York, um, they're, they're a strong team. Um, they were also a finalist in the 4x1 at Penn Relays. We also have um, Dwight Thomas team. Dwight is an Olympic gold medalist. He was a part of the 4x1 um, at the Beijing Olympics along with Michael Freita, um, Usain Bolt, um, Nesta Carter. He's the sprint coach at ING. Um, they also have a fantastic um, four by one men's team who are also finalists at the pen relays. Okay, great. So this this could be a very good mouthwatering contest um, between the Jamaicans because you talk about um, persons like Brian Lavelle and uh, Gregor Prince, and just to name a few. And on the on the girls' side, what, what what's that matchup gonna be like? Because um, we have Brianna Liston coming in, Kerika Ill, Alana Reed, and 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 others. Yeah, well. As, as I said, we have, we have went out and got the best American high school athletes that are available. Um, Miss Elliott from Indianapolis, um, she's down to run the 100, 200, 400. Um, she's the US indoor champion at, at 200 meters. Um, and we have a host of um, female athletes from you know the high school circuit here in America who is gonna be around the best of the best. Um, so it's, it's going to be a good showcase, you know, but I mean more than anything else I just wanted to provide a good opportunity for our Jamaican athletes to, to come and compete internationally on the individual perspective You know, we know that pen relays offer the relays um, I'm offering individual matchups in the 100, the 200, the 400, the hurdles, all the traditional individual events that we have at a shack, track and field meet we're going to have it here at our, our showcase all the kids are excited i know the san diego team the team from excelsior the team from stets they've been here in america since monday they've been here at long Beach high school doing a training camp um, tonight we have the team from edwin allen boys who are flying in we have additional members from the excelsior team flying in tonight um, tomorrow we have the whole Haida contingent flying in. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fireworks in Landover, Maryland. Um, I'm asking the Jamaican fans in the DMV. The DMV means 
DC, Maryland, Virginia to come out and support New York City. You guys are three mile, three hours away from the meet. Philadelphia, it's only a one hour, 15 minute drive. Come down to Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex. Come and support these Jamaican athletes. They wanna see you guys. Um, we need the support. I wanna thank Puma, the main sponsor, my company, Two Eagles Sports and Entertainment for putting on this fantastic showcase. Um, coach, I wanted you to know that we didn't ask any of these high schools that I invited. Every single high school that I invited, I didn't ask them for any money. You know, we brought them in, um, we fed them, we took care of accommodations. The athletes have told me since we've been here, since last week from the Penn Relays, you know, the hotels that we have provided is the best hotels that they have stayed in. Um, and coach, you could you could attest to that. Certainly. Um, I really appreciate the, the, the support, especially um, from the St. Diego team, you know, the boys and the girls. You know, you guys have um, represented well. This is going to be an annual event um, and this is going to be big. And I'm going to make sure we put on this showcase every year um, and all the Jamaican high school teams are invited and we need the fan support. The fan support is extremely important. This meet is for us. This is a Jamaican run event. The J3A is fully behind us. ISSA is fully behind us. And I want us to use our platform and this dysphoria to come out and, and support our event on May 7th. Definitely, and I en encourage all the persons in the diaspora, in and around the area, please come out and uh, be a part of this exciting. Remember, you know, you're gonna have a uh, um, Brian Level running, Brian Alliston. This is a once in a lifetime um, situation for you. you know, you might only see them live and direct for this time only. You know what I mean? Because they will soon be exit exiting a high school. Now, I, I know that it's an international meet. Um, uh, Sanjay, but when you look at it, to, have you ever? We know it's inaugural, right? But have you ever thought of in the future bringing this showcase on Jamaican soil? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, me and my um, partner um, Juliet Campbell, we have we have a lot of lot of lot of fun ideas that we want to bring forth. You know, just to promote Jamaican, you know, track and field. Uh, myself as a former runner. I've been giving back to the country. From I retired in 2012, I've been giving back, you know, to my countrymen in many ways. So whatever I could do to to, to uplift our country, uplift our youth um, in a positive way, you know, I I, I want to do it. And um, if if the logistics are right, if we could get the right, you know, support people back in us. You know, we're gonna also have an edition in Jamaica, and ho all, you know, hopefully we could invite the Americans to come down um, and support the meet, like how they came, and uh, like how we came, and and supported the meet here on U.S. soil. Absolutely, that sounds um, very awesome and and innovative as well. We definitely look forward to that happening in the future. But I mean, um, I I definitely endorse this thing. You know, a lot of persons talk about um the athletes coming over here to, to to run on um but you just mentioned it that you take care of everything for the athletes so it's, it's, it's nothing to worry about in terms of um them being fed them being accommodated and and such like and uh you brought them on some tours as well yeah. which were um they they, they 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 truly enjoyed so we definitely people come out and support the thing listen to coaches this i'm telling you People in the DMV area come out and support the movement. Trust me. Like I said earlier, this is a once in a lifetime sort of situation to see a brand listen, to see a brand level. All right, Sanjay Air, is there any final um, shout out or thoughts that you want to share before we close off this uh, interview? For the fans, you know, Jamaica love you, the US love you. This is a rivalry that we've had at the senior level at the Olympics, USA versus Jamaica. It's something special that I'm bringing to Jamaica, USA versus Jamaica. The high school is coming together for a head-to-head -head match. Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex, Saturday, May 7th. I want the Jamaican diaspora here in the US come out and support us. $20 admission, everybody could afford it. You know, come out, support us. We want to see you. The athletes want to see you. Thank you. 
All right, thanks, uh, Sanjay. And uh, we definitely hope uh, to see the fans coming out and support this big uh, East Coast sponsored by Puma International Showcase. Until next time, people, stay safe. Peace out.